Alrighty then, hey this is Megalovaniac yet again and I'm going to be continuing my let's play of Persona 3 FES. Last time, we finished up Yuko's social link and also gave Junpei some very important advice. It was a bit of a shorter episode, and this one might be too because I'm once again recording at very wee hours of the morning. And hello, Dumpster Girl, it is good to see you, I hope you are feeling better soon. Either way, tonight, I'm actually going to be checking in with Elizabeth to make sure there aren't any requests that we need to get done that will end up horribly backfiring if I don't. So, I can go check on her, I'll let you guys know what's going on with that, if there's anything vital coming up, and yeah. So, there are a few important quests coming up. First of all, we have uh, on the 21st, we need to get the Featherman R figure from someone. Not really sure who we're going to get that from, but we'll figure that out when the 21st comes. Also, we have to find the missing person. There's a missing girl who has apathy syndrome, apparently. We have to find her and bring her a drink to cure her condition. And that will actually get us a maid outfit. Hmm. Either way, we'll be doing that later. And f this is the one that's most important, Food Fit for a Wolf. As you notice, this one is actually on the 12th, which I'm going to go ahead and accept now so that I don't forget. Also, she would like to try Odin Juice, which we can get from a girl at school. And we actually have a date with Elizabeth coming up, this time at GeckoCon High. So, I'm not going to be doing that this episode, but look forward to it coming up. And, of course, the usual Tartar's quest. We actually have to get the last old document. So, number 8 will be the final one. And, of course, the usual Tartar's quest of a red shadow item and a regular shadow item. I believe that is it, though, as far as new requests. And we're just going to be worried about the, uh... The one coming up on the 12th that is food fit for a wolf. So, that's not yet. We'll worry about that when it comes, though. Also, before we head to bed tonight, we're going to need to do something right here. You're going to need to get 20 Cielo Mists from the vending machine here at the dorm. If I recall correctly, you can't actually find this particular drink anywhere else. And yes, you do need 20 of them. One at a time. This may take a while. Well, yeah, that took a while. That was actually kind of annoying, but at least it was the top answer so I could just, or when it brings up the menu of things you want to buy, it's the top one, so I could just mash the X button for a couple minutes. And that wasn't too bad, though. Either way, heading back to the dorm room to go to bed, and I'll meet you guys at school today. Or tomorrow. Whichever. Hmm. So, let's see what we got about, okay, good news. Boy, who's transferring here? Okay. Oh, and by the way, I just want to br point out something. I, with the three people that were sitting next to us while we were getting those 20 CLO mitts, I wonder what they thought of just repeat, of Minato just sitting there, probably blank face, repeatedly putting coins into the machine, pulling out CLO mitts, and just carrying off a pack, uh, literally 20 of them in his arms. Never said a word. I don't know if that's the kind of thing is normal with Minato, but just... I wonder what that would be like. Hmm. And how would they know it's the new guy? Well, probably because they don't recognize him. It's not exactly a huge school. Wait, isn't that us? I'm pretty sure that's our class. Yeah, we're in that classroom F. So apparently we're getting a new student. Are they going to be here today then? I think so. Ah, yes, they are. All right, everyone. Today we have yet another transfer student. I am the transfer student here. As you all know, this is our third. That makes it a half. -trick. Wait, I guess is also transfer student. I guess also gets a pass as a transfer student. However, I am first transfer student, therefore I get priority. Introduce yourself. 
My name is Ryoji Mochizuki. I would be grateful if you could show me the ropes. <laughs> He's kind of cute. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Not so loud. Well, apparently he's quite popular. Nice to meet you. Um. Ryoji lived overseas for a long time because of his parents' work. So he may not be used to all of our customs. It's okay, Ryoji. I am American too. Be sure to explain them to him. Minuto isn't, but I am. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. That one's open. Second from the left in the front. Um, Miss Toriyumi, technically that seat's taken. So was Igus' seat. I don't see the problem. You must be present to be a member of this class. So as far as I'm concerned, that seat is available. Life is nothing but a game of musical chairs. The rest of you should be careful too. Good morning. Do not flirt with Igis. I have claimed her. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. You tell him, I get wait, why, why are you acting that way? Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out on a date yet. And you damn well shouldn't. A date? Hmm? I guess, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Rejected from the start. You're an interesting girl. <sighs> well, that one's mine anyway, so you can't have her. Your teacher understands, I guess. You haven't had very long to be the new student, and already you have to share the spot. I wish your classmates would pay attention to me for a change. Hey, are any of you even listening? I'm listening. Kind of. What were we talking about again? Well, it seems we have a new student, Ryuji. Or Ryoji? I... Now I'm getting confused between this and Toradora. Pretty sure there, there are two characters with very similar names. I'm not sure which one's Ryuji and which one's Ryoji. Now I'm very confused. Uh, Yukari, yes, I would... Yes, today I'm going to be spending time with you, so... No, I don't have anything planned for after school. Sure, I like that. Okay, I was half expecting Ryoji. I'm pretty sure it's Ryoji in this game. Yeah, I was half expecting him to come and talk to me during lunch. Oh, also after class. Or, afternoon, rather. Huh. Wait, school trip? Oh, that's right, the school trip! I forgot about it! Wait. Uh, okay, no, I want to stay awake. I want to know more about the school trip! What? Uh, I want to hear more about the school trip. I don't remember... Well, I remember what... I know where we're going for the school trip, I remember it now, it's just something I hadn't really thought about until just now. And I can't wait for it, there's so much great about it. Either way, I guess. I want to talk to you. Hmm. Well, I guess I will trust your instinct on that. Also, if he flirts with you again, I will kill him. Ryoji! Yes. Ryoji, I can tell you something right now. You may ask all of them out on dates, but they are all mine. I have claimed them, and this has been shown through the social links. Moving on. Yukari! Let's go, and make sure Ryoji's looking when we leave the room. Uh, and yes, we do have Pixie, so we're good to go! It would actually be kind of funny if there was some sort of comment when Ryoji was here. Either way, um, moving on. Okay, for some reason I thought 
seems odd. I thought we had just to spend time with Yukari this time. Oh well. Oh wait, is it next time that we do? No, I'm not sure. Hmm. Usually, yeah. Well, is that a bad thing? As someone who lives near the mountains, they're really nice to be near. And around and in the mountains. Honestly, I could go for a camping trip to the mountains. I haven't gone camping in years and I really want to. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh wait, we're going to be doing this soon then? Well, I guess after it's all over. So, just the two of us, then. I'm fine with this. <laughs> and that's actually just one of my favorite conversations with Yukari in general during her social link. It's a very simple conversation, it doesn't seem like it'd be that big a deal, but... I don't know, just that conversation specifically is a sign of what is actually a really healthy relationship, if you ask me. It's At least it seems like one. Just... I don't know, Yukari is supposed to be the canon relationship in this game, if you want to call it that. And... I don't know. It's conversations like that that make me really think that I could believe it working. Yeah, and even there it says there's something special between you, not you are a little bit closer now, or your relationship has gotten more intense. No, it's something special. That's a good way of putting it. Either way, though, we got plenty more time to spend with Yukari, but for now... Ah, uh, Ryoji is interesting. He is encroaching on my territory, though, as the guy who dates literally every girl in school. Well, at least every girl with a name. I admit, it is impressive to literally ask out every girl on the first day. Hikari, has he asked you? Wait. Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, 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 what? Wait, where? Hikari? What do you mean, not another one? Do you have one? Is there something you want to tell me, Yukari? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh god, I didn't actually know about that conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry, just the idea of Junpei referring to himself as a hunk of burning love. Okay, so Yukari was talking about Junpei, not me. Okay. Okay. <sighs> How did I got that out of my system? Let's go back to our room and just move on to the next day. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this is Case Kate. Sorry, I'm busy laughing right now. I, I'll talk to you another time. Sorry about that. Oh my god. Whew. Oh my god. Wow, after laughing like that, I just suddenly feel really tired. Like, the entire day just kind of caught up with me. I might actually end this episode off in... Mm, maybe not the next night. Depends on how long, how many extra cutscenes we get during the day. Because now that Ryoji's here, we're actually going to get several more uh, little extra scenes like we've been getting. Like we got yesterday. Morning. Oh, that's good. Yeah, how is she? Yeah, can't blame her at all. Hopefully Ryoji is not dumb enough to actually try to hit on her. Actually, I'd kind of like to see that. That'd be kind of hilarious. Ah, so we have the usual rotating threads today. Yukari, I'm betting it's... Uh, no, Bebe. Wait, no, Yukari's not available today, is he? So, so I think just Bebe then. Um, yeah, I'm gonna come today. Hmm. Well, we'll get it done. Hasta la vista! And yeah, that was the only one today. 
And, oh, just after school, nothing to do with Ryojite. I'm going to actually talk to him again. Yeah, he's gone. Huh. Well, okay then. I guess we'll just head over to s talk to Bebe. Bebe. Where yeah, you're here. For some reason, I always get Bebe and Keisuke confused. Not in personality, but in... For a couple of reasons, actually. They're pretty close to where they... Like, I get confused as to which one's where in the hallway. And oftentimes, I'll get confused between uh, Temperance and Fortune, as far as the Arcanas go. So I'll often think that Bebe is Fortune and Keisuke is, is Temperance. It gets really mixed up in my head often. So we're actually attempting to sew this time. Hmm. Uh, wait a minute, is he talking to himself or could talking to us? Hmm. Oh, you finished it! Yeah, um, what's your country like anyway? Wow, you actually are willing to die here. It occurs to me that Bebe is like the French equivalent of a weeaboo. I never even realized that until now. How did I not notice that? Right from, right down to like speaking random bits of Japanese in his sentences. Forsaking his home country and saying that this one is much, much better and has a better culture. That, huh. I never even realized Bebe is actually a weeb. Interesting. Honestly, I, I never am super judgmental of Weeaboo, because I know it's considered a term that's like it's said as an insult. I just kind of say it as, yeah, it's something that people do. I don't really consider it an insult, though, because I went through my Weeaboo phase. I got over it. Most people do. But, yeah. But because I went through my Weeaboo phase, I don't really judge those that are going through it. And nine times out of ten, it is a phase. Usually it'll devolve into something completely different, still related. But most people don't, st don't stay as total Weeaboo for long. Hmm. Oh, I appreciate that. Despite the oddities of Bebe, he is a nice guy, and I'm glad we met him. This is rank 9, we only get to see him one more time. Guess next time we see him, we'll have to find out how it went with presenting the kimono. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I thought you said you had to fin well, I guess there might be some final touches left. Well. Be careful, don't force yourself to total exhaustion. You might make a mistake and end up regretting it. Hmm. Well, I hope it goes well for him. Greetings. Hey, I guess. Hmm. Can't blame her, and I won't bother her. Are you worried about her? Oh. Interesting, though. That does mean that I guess... How to put it? She feels a lot more than when we first met her. She's becoming less and less like a machine every day. Either way, though, let's see, today is the 10th, so we don't have to worry about getting that wolf food. Let's just go back, head back to our dorm room. And I'm gonna go ahead and do one more day and then cut off the ep episode there. Uh, yeah, sleeping earlier. Yeah, I've been recording these late at night just because I've been busy during the day, and I probably should have worked on more homework today than I did, but... Either way, I've been a bit busy recently, but I do want to maintain more uploads. So, a large part of why I'm doing this, how to put it, you see, last episode, I recorded last night. And last episode still hasn't gone out yet. You see, you know how every vi video that I have has a link to the next episode? Well, nine times out of ten, I actually end up recording at least an episode in advance, so I always have that preview to do. I hate it when I've had to put, like, nothing there or reuse a clip for another one just because I need to get an episode out. So, yeah, that's just something I wanted to point out is, some, oftentimes when I'm recording this, I'm always at least one episode ahead. Okay, it is Ryoji, not Ryuji. Wait, he's rich? Well, I guess he, 
came from overseas, so I suppose he's, he might come from a rich family. I wonder how that goes, as far as the whole calling dibs on a person thing. Also, he's literally flirting with every girl in school, so I'm pretty sure whichever one you call dibs, he's probably going to end up flirting with both of you. Let's see what we got today. Oh, baby! It's good to see you again. And we're actually not spending today with you, but it's still nice to see you today. I can't today. Wait, I thought you finished the kimono. Eh, whatever. Also, we might be seeing another person? No, we already saw him earlier, but it's who we're going to be spending today with. Oh, immediately after school again. Now, is Ryoji here today? Nope, still out flirting. Okay, so either way, today we're going to actually be spending with Keisuke, which will be rank 9 again. Wait. Yeah, today we are spending with Keisuke. Hmm, seems he has something important to talk about. Yeah, we're spending today with him, and that means we're getting rank 9 with Keisuke the day after we get it with Bebe. Again, more comparisons between these two that make it really easy for me to mix them up. Even though they're very different people. Hmm. Okay. Well, in the middle of class, huh? Well, as long as you don't pull any of the dark sorcery you pulled last time to make a box appear from the roof and then teleport me to the nurse's office. Yeah, um, we went really far away to talk about this. What's going on? <laughs> Wait. So you're actually running away till you figure out what you want to do with your life? Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. You can't just run away. Um... Oh no. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't just say she, you should get going. What's wrong with her? So she's having some sort of... Oh, bronchitis. Oh. Yeah, that is no joke. Again? Yeah, aren't you going to go find yourself? Hmm. I don't mean to be sarcastic about this, but... I... In case you guys can't see, there's something pretty clear going on here. Alright. Oh, jeez. Um... I don't know how to do this. I'm not a paramedic. Okay. Um. I don't know how that would help. Maybe he's too warm. Finger in his mouth. How the hell would that help? Um, pat him on the back. I don't know. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Um. Yeah, probably getting him onto his back would help. Okay, never mind. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Oh, cardiac arrest. Uh, what about, wait, his fingernails? Okay. Okay, at least I did, was trying to do that right. Yeah, uh, no problem. Sorry for your sarcastic response earlier. Yeah. He's really excited about being able to help people this much. <sighs> Keisuke, the answer is so obvious and yet you're always trying to avoid it. I don't really understand that. Well, 
don't know, maybe I do it myself and I don't even realize it, but I've never understood that concept of when something is that obvious of what you want to do. Thought so. Yeah. See you at school, and good luck with that apology. That is not going to be easy. But I'm glad he's going for it. Hi, how was your day? It was good. I saved the lives of two people today. Oh, that's it. Well, I guess that's it for t this episode, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. Sorry for these episodes being shorter than usual, or I assume they're shorter than usual. I haven't actually been looking at the timer. I've just been kind of going till I think I need to stop. Either way, though, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time when we continue this game of Persona 3 FES. See you then!